Hey guys, Codename Gamma here, and today I'm going to show you how to do memory searching and how to use Cheat Engine a bit. We're going to find some values that you can play with yourself. And if you have Cheat Engine installed, then you're good to go. Go ahead and open it up, start Sonic Mania, and you should be at the screen roughly what it looks like on your screen right now. If not, you need to install Cheat Engine, and I have a video on that, and you'll find that in the description. Once you have Cheat Engine open, we're going to click the little computer up here. And we're going to select Sonic Mania. We're not going to load the cheat table if it asks, because we're going to make a new one. So, um, there's plenty of things we can search for in Sonic Mania. Basically, everything is a value. Let's start with rings. So, let's get one. Then we're going to go back to Cheat Engine, and we're going to search one. Get the other two. This time, we're going to search three. And you can see we have a few options here. So we're going to add a few of these. The green means it's a static value, and black means it's going to change every time the game starts. So if you can find a green one that works, then you're going to want to stick with that green one. So let's change this value here, and we'll change that to 5. And let's go ahead and get another ring. And it did change. I believe it did. No, it says 10 and that's at 8, so that's obviously not the value we wanted. We changed this to 66. Our rings changed instantly, that means that that's our ring value. We're going to name this rings. And if we check this box here, let's get rid of this. That means that now if we get hurt, or if we get more rings, or if that value changes, then we're going to get, then that's going to replace that value. So now we can get hurt as much as we want, and it's just fine. However, what if we didn't want to do that? What if we wanted to do something else? So let's find out. Let's right-click and find out what writes to this address. And that's going to bring this window up here. Now I wish I could kind of leave this open where you guys can see it, but I'm going to go ahead and get hurt. If you can see, we lost all of our rings, but if I go back to Cheat Engine, it gave us two instructions. Now, this is giving you a little bit more on the advanced side, but basically it says move ASI, which is right here, that memory address. And we're actually going to take note of that address because it's important. ESI plus C4, which is going to be our rings. So if we add C4 to this base address here that gives us our rings, and it's moving zero into that, which resets our ring value. And then there's also this other instruction that ran ten times, and as you can see we have ten rings that adds our rings. So if we didn't want this to go off, we can click replace. And what name do you want to give this code? Let's do don't lose rings. We can click stop and close. And if we go to advanced options, there's our code right here. So now if we get hit, see how we didn't lose our rings? We didn't lose our rings, and this isn't checked. Now if we wanted to return this, we can right click, and restore with original code, and now if we get hit again, we lost our rings again. So, you know, that's a little bit of an advanced thing, but at least now you know how you can stop certain things from happening. Obviously, you can just lock it and it'll be fine. Most people can handle how to do this. Now, what if we want to find our player position? First, we want to click on New Scan, and we're going to change this value to 2 bytes. And then we don't know what the value is, so we're going to do Unknown Initial Value, and click First Scan. Now, if we move our character this way, that's going to be less than if we move it this way because the game works on an access system, and almost and all games do this. So now if we go increase value because we moved forward, now we move back a little bit, we ride again, and decreased, and we ride again. And we're going to keep doing this until we run out of results, or we narrow it down probably to a thousand or less. And now that we're here, we're going to go forward again. 
and now we're going to go increased. So we have 300 and it didn't fall when we did the increase that much, so we're going to start with these green ones. And let's go ahead and lock a few of these values. And now we're going to move. And see how our screen is jittering? That means one of these is the camera value. So if we go back, uncheck each one. So we can call this camera X. Let's try these other ones. Now see how T Sonic and Tails can't move? So let's see which one's which. We'll uncheck that one. And I can move, but Tails can't. Which means that one of these is for Tails X value. So, player 2 X. Player 1 X. And those are our coordinates. But what if we wanted to find the Y value? Obviously, we could do the same thing. We could go back and we can jump up here and go increased, go down here, decreased. And that will get us the same results, and we can go through them the same way. So we don't know what these are. Let's get rid of them. Or we can go right click, and we can browse this memory region. And if we right click, we can display type, and we want two byte decimal. So here's our X value, and then we have some interesting ones here. At A6, this is 844. So let's add this. And let's add a few of these, actually. So if I go back to Cheat Engine, and I wish I could show you this while it's moving. But if I lock that and I jump, then our Y value doesn't move. Usually in most games, values that are related will be right next to each other. So in this case, we have our X value and we have our Y value. There's also a lot of other stuff here, because you could see every time that the red changes, that means that the game is updating a value, which could be related to things for the player. It could be basically anything. So let's add this one that's changing, and let's see what that does. We're going to lock it. And as you can see, Sonic's kind of jumping up and down. That means that value is related probably to his sprites. So since that's not really useful, we will name it Sprite Counter. And we'll name this Player Y, Player 1 Y. And now we can rearrange this. Now, here is A92, right? And the Y is A96. So since we have the X for player 1, or for player 2, we're going to copy, and then paste, and we're going to address this address by 4. We're going to go up 2, and then the next one is going to be our Y value. That's basically the same jump from here to here as this is to this. So if we go here, that's going to be our Y value. Let's lock this. And if we go in, see how Tails just continuously falls now? That's because we found his value without actually searching for it. We could do pretty much the same thing all over the place. Let's do the camera real quick. We're gonna browse this memory region. We have this one here, which is our X. That's going to be our Y, because it's pretty much obviously our Y. If we lock this, and we'll change this to 1, it drags our camera out. So what if we wanted to manipulate this? Pull this down. Camera Y. So the game is obviously trying to update it and write to it. But if we do that trick from earlier, what writes to this address? We can see it's writing ESI plus 4. And ESI is the base for the camera. Which is another important value. We can make note of that or not. But we can replace. And as you can see, the game stops writing to it. So what if we wanted to adjust this value? Now we can right click. Set hotkeys, create hotkey, and we'll go 9, 
decrease value with one, six, increase value with one, and this basically makes a hotkey that changes when we press it. So if we press six, see how it's slowly moving down? There we go. And now we can control that camera axis. So that's cool, right? Now, let's go back here, close that. Now, if we wanted to undo that, we go to Advanced Options and we change this back, Restore. And now it should be back to normal. If we uncheck this. So yeah, now you guys know a little bit more about Cheat Engine, how it works, how to set hotkeys, and hopefully now you guys can search for values yourselves, and how easy it is to find stuff. I hope I was explanatory enough. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves an awesome day. Don't forget to check out my Patreon for my cheat table downloads and everything else. I'll see you next time.